Just like that. One of my favorites. One more time, nice and quick. Okay, just get the best look you can. He goes for the arm bar. Boom, I don't want to get on board. I stand up. He still got my wrist. Taps me there. I roll my arm right up into an armor blocker. And then devastating shoulder lock for the win. So what do I do? Um, Just don't make a lot of noise. That's number one. Uh, try not to, yeah, the breathing. <laughs> you gotta chill with the breathing. Mouth breathing, no mouth breathing. All right, a lot of people, we get the complaints <laughs> for the mouth breathing. When you grab onto the handle, don't squeeze the shit out of it. Just lightly control it. Remember, it's just like when you were first driving a car and you grab, put your hands at 10 and two and you were and squeezing the steering wheel. Just relax. Got it? Hmm. All right, do you really need two hands on it? Security. All right. Are you ready, Brian? Yeah, we're good to go. All right. Teach me grappling. What's up, everybody? If you didn't like all that BS, just fast forward next time. You know me. I'm back. And tonight I had, it's Halloween. Happy Halloween. I don't have a mask for you guys. Um, I have a beard growing in. Um, we are working on, we're not really working on it. So, somehow it popped up tonight and I showed these guys um, an arm bar. And the arm bar is like an old arm bar that you don't see a lot anymore. Not a lot of people teach it. So this is a really cool arm bar. So check this out. I don't really have a name for it, okay? We call it the knee pinch or something like that. So my opponent right now, he's just gonna be on his knees. I want you guys to get two feet on the hips and then I'm just gonna go for the baseball bat tie right here, just like, like you're here. I'm gonna put my thumbs around it on both sides so I'm holding onto his wrist, real simple. You can come around and get different angles, just so you know, like you can move around freely. Then all we're gonna do, we're not gonna have my opponent right now block me. So if his arm is here, just go like this and move your knee to the inside. And then now once you're here, you just, Step on his hips and raise your hip, okay? Raise your hip, close your knees around his shoulder and pinch. That's all I'm doing. And now, come over here like this angle. Now, if you look at where his thumb is, his thumb's pointing this way, his pinky's pointing that way. That's the direction of where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna push it to the side. At the same time, my knees are gonna force his shoulder in that direction. And Brian is really flexible, long. Um, he doesn't tap very quick, so I really gotta go far with him. Um, you lift up, you raise it, you push it. Sometimes you can even change hands and get it like this, okay? Another way of doing, uh, doing this so that he can't get out is you grab onto his thumb, turn his palm up. See, I rotate it palm up and then I pinch. And then I can even like, as I bring it over this way, I'm kind of forcing it down also and get that. And that way he can't roll out. Now the typical rollout, which almost always happens, if you catch a guy who doesn't know what you're doing and he's caught by surprise, maybe you'll just tap him out. But if they have any sense, so they've been training for a while, usually what'll happen if you have this little baseball bat grip, you'll start to go like this and he'll roll his elbow. Once he does that, just go ahead. You already have one foot on the hip. You're just gonna go ahead and force in that omoplata and then sit on that, okay? And then that puts us right here in a basic omoplata. You guys should all know how to do this. Once I'm here, I fold my leg, I get on my left hip, elevate my butt, cup under his shoulder, lock or lock here, 45 degree angle coming up, trying to place my knee on the mat. Sometimes you break your opponent down, sometimes not. So, Pretty easy move. So if you guys get into the open guard, getting a little bit more combative, right here, maybe I'm playing like this, like a little bit of knee shield. Notice I'm, um, I'm in control of this arm right here. Maybe I'm grabbing onto his wrist, trying to pull. He may be trying to pull his elbow back. See, I have the backside of his elbow. You're pulling it back, that's fine. I'm gonna lift my hip, and then I'm gonna bring my knee around, and then 
go here. Now, the moment I do this, I let go of the elbow and I start to pull his fingers in control like this. That way I can push it into my hip and get the submission with a simple knee pinch. What's cool about this one is you don't have to have like the ability to go for the basic arm bars where you guys see like something like this, where a leg seems to have to pass over the head. You know, in your normal arm bars, you gotta pass that leg over to get the arm bar. So that becomes something in their mind when you're grappling, like he doesn't even feel in danger until something wraps around his head. So when you're, when you're kind of like on your side and you're just playing like an open guard, if, if you gain control of a wrist, you're one moment away from getting a submission. Now, of course, a really good guy, a lot of times is gonna retract his elbow and it'll slip from outside and it'll look like this. And if that happens, don't sweat it. He knows what you're doing. It's not gonna work, but you threatened him. It's still not bad. You're not, no worse for wear. Even if he pulls the elbow out completely, like pulls it out and we're here, I'm still fine. I didn't give up anything. Remember, when you guys go for an arm bar, if I'm here and I go for an arm bar and he rips his elbow out, like a lot of times the guy's gonna pass your guard. So, see that Maria? Just walk around and get those best angles. So the cool thing is, you, you didn't lose anything, you know? I went, I went for the submission, if he pulls his elbow out, no big deal, I got my feet on his hips, nothing wrong, okay? And I still got his wrist, so it's not like he can throw my legs with it, he only has one hand to work with. So while he's trying to push my leg to the side or whatever, like I still got his wrist. I can still come back to his neck, come back into some, some other attack that you like from your guard. Now, is that, is that good? What do you think? Is that fair, Brian? Like, did we teach, we taught the move, right? Yeah. Is there anything else? Is that it? Okay, so here's, here's where I, I, I usually like to attack it. So I'm gonna give you guys my favorite uh, way to set this, this technique up, okay? I'm gonna go for an arm bar, just your basics. Uh, let's just say we go here. If you guys are in the gi, you guys can, you know, use your, your, your grips there. Push the foot on the hip and go here. Attack for your arm bar. Now, when you guys get your arm bar, a lot of times the person is gonna start reacting. They're gonna start standing up and stacking you. So sometimes when you get here, you're trying to finish and he stands all the way up. Instead of, instead of smashing you, he, he stands up and he starts ripping his elbow out. So once he does that, it looks like the arm's gone, okay? I immediately take this foot right here and I step right on his hip. As I push into his stomach, his hip area, I bring the other one back and I raise my hip and I suck his shoulder right back inside. So even though in this position, his elbow was gone, he a lot of times feels safe as I'm pulling on it. I raise up and I capture the shoulder and then guess what I'm doing? Automatically right away, I'm forcing heavy pressure, trying to get the submission. And then usually, I'm being honest, I almost always get them to roll unless I can control that thumb and make sure they can't roll their wrist like that. If I can not control it, I'll get the, the tap. But the reality is the fight, the fight game, he rolls and then you switch towards your bata and you sit on up and you're working from here, breaking the guy down and finishing. Okay, so that's my favorite um, little entry right there. You wanna try it? Let's do it. So, you got your basic on, well, let's see if you can do the basic, what I just did. Two hands, no, just simple right here. Step on the hips, raise your butt, raise the knees, bam, right there. Notice I'm not nearly as flexible as you might, like I got to a point where sometimes I had to almost like bar, yeah, like do that kind of stuff. So, with me, especially if you can turn my palm up, you can do that, and now go ahead and arch up a little right there. See, I, I tap real quick. And then now, the setup, being right here. Guy goes for the arm bar. As he goes for the arm bar, I start standing up and ripping out. He still has my wrist, foot goes to the hip, other foot comes out, raise the hips, close the knees, and, and I either get tapped, or over here, I roll my elbow. Once I roll that shoulder right there, turn my elbow, he just pivots right into a maximal plaza, and then he gets the breakdown and the top. Okay? 
Just like that. One of my favorites. One more time, nice and quick. Okay, just get the best look you can. He goes for the arm bar. Boom, I don't want to get on board. I stand up. He's still got my wrist. Taps me there. I roll my arm right up into an armor blocker. And then devastating shoulder lock for the win. Nice job, Brian. You're the man. All right, guys. That's your technique of the day. Teach me grappling. Please click the link down below. Even if it's Halloween, you still got to do it. Please, we have Patreon and PayPal, both of those links, in the description box. Give this video a thumbs up, especially if you've never seen this submission before. If you guys have been around, this is not a new technique. It's been around forever. You guys have probably seen it. If you haven't seen it, it's time to go start practicing and then try to catch your training partners in this cool move. All right? I'll see you guys next time for more. I'm out. Bam! All right.